Hello and welcome to the Frequency Ball and Summer Music Connection 3 Video 10 Instruction 6 and there's been so much about the personal art that I feel I want to keep going with it. Now the question can come how much is too much personal? Now that's an interesting question um, that I've had to think about a lot. For example, if personal becomes you always just putting your thing on it, above and beyond the balance of what your own f really I would call it study, um, not necessarily sitting in a library looking at a score, even though there's nothing wrong with that, but your own personal back and forth study contemplation of what you think the piece calls for. Um, and so if someone has an agenda uh, about how to play, that can be very personal, but not always in the most beneficial way. And I think every now and then I've seen myself definitely fall into it, <laughs> especially a lot in my younger years. Um, and I've seen many people fall into it. It's an interesting balance. Some don't do it enough, and it sounds perfunctory. Some people have it with equipment. They have such a personal thing against other equipment than theirs that they make a very personal thing about this is the only instrument to play or this is the only mouthpiece to play. Now that kind of personal is again very biased and agenda based. Um, is it balanced? No. So these are things that people might want to think about or not. It depends on where you're at, and that can change in the course of one's life. And change can be very personal. Sometimes that which makes a person change could be something like losing a parent, like having something happen to their playing and they have to start from scratch or things early on in childhood from this that and the other you know life has a very big complexity to it so the personal art I know for me when I was younger used to be really expressing a lot of different kind of emotions that needed to come out. And I'm happy, <laughs> for the most part, they took the form of coming out through this tube. Very happy about that. Um, whether it was intense sadness, or frustration, or anger, or joy, inspiration, awe, all these things I tried to put through the instrument. So that was very personal. Now think of a composer writing a piece. Was it personal for them? Could be. I think a lot of times it was. Does that mean they only hear it one way in their mind? Having written a lot of music myself, um, not necessarily. 
that's why in every piece of music that I write and that my wife publishes and contributes to the whole process to, we'll always write, this is for the performer to make it real for them. For I think there's a way of touching on the personal element that can touch upon the personal aspect of all of us. So that might be a little bit too close for some people. Um, we're all on a big giant journey, aren't we? So speaking of parents, my mother has been passed now for five years. The fifth anniversary of her passing was two days ago. And there's so much music that reminds me of her, but mostly oldies and mostly certain musicals. And perhaps you'll know this one. personal to me. For my mother used to sing that to all of us, myself, my brother and my sister. And she I put in the category of one of my first four teachers. For she had a great love of life. And she knew how important it was to have dreams, to have wishes, and to actually allow them to come out of a person. And I think that influence, her influence, and my grandmother was very similar, her mother, that helped me be perhaps even the teacher that I am. For I believe in the individual, not as an island unto themselves, but as an integral part of the bouquet of humanity. You know, what makes a bouquet of flowers? Individuals. And the individual, depending on how wonderful and how strong that flower is, that individual flower, and then you put it with others like that, it makes a symphony of smell, of sight, of beauty. And that's why to crush the individual into some kind of cookie-cutter mold or kill, or can kill, the special, unique aspect that could be their unique, special contribution to art and humanity. So looking at the personal art is very, very deep, and it's a whole refinement process. And yes, we can bring it to our professional life. In fact, the people that do, you probably remember they're playing. So, I wish you good luck in working on your personal art. Dig in. It's your life. It's art. Enjoy, discover, quest on. <laughs>